Look at this handsome devil. I'm here at the AC Pro booth. Ryan's Mobile One. I'm not exactly famous, but it was kind of fun to see that video posted there. This was at Apex. So at SEMA, there's all kinds of interesting people and all kinds of interesting things to see. And one of the things in particular that I really liked was actually here at Apex. It was at the uh, booth for BG Chemicals, I believe. And they had a cutaway of a 2015 Corvette and a cutaway of the engine, transmission, drivetrain, everything. I just kind of went down the line of it. So I won't get everything perfect, but you'll get a pretty good understanding. So that would be the intake stroke. Yeah. And then uh, change this color for the compression stroke. It'll go white for ignition. Bang! Power stroke. And then back to the exhaust stroke. It's a really cool cutaway. So they paint all of the lines where they've cut. But so you've got direct injection here. You've got your ignition coil here. You'll watch this uh, rocker arm to press the valve spring. The valve will open. There it goes, and there it opens. You've got your timing chain running here, your serpentine belt. This is a lot like the Volkswagen ones. This is actually a 2015 Corvette. But the light is a great touch, so you know where you are as far as uh, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Very tight. Got the, so nice. And of course, you see the spark plug here, and you see where they cut it. They pull the spark plug out and cut it so you can see where that's coming through. Looks like they use a little better lubrication. I'm seeing some scoring on the uh, cross hatching of the cylinder there. Looks like it's run a little dry for a while. <laughs> there you go. That's so cool. So there you can see the camshaft on this side. And I don't, honestly, I don't know what this is. I think that's some kind of timing advance or something. Again, you've got the fuel injector clear down in there. Hard thing about the fuel injectors being down, there's advantages and disadvantages of direct injection. So one of the advantages is that you're shooting right into the cylinder the way a diesel does and you get a lot better control. You can get uh, better pulse width, uh, control, and you can get an exact science, an exact uh, air fuel mixture out of it. Uh, but the disadvantage, especially for a mechanic, is that your access is very limited. You're tucked in underneath, so it's hard if you don't have a if you have a no start condition. You start doing your fast tech, your fuel, air, spark, timing, exhaust, compression. You know you can spray starting fluid in there and it, and diagnose that fuel's not getting there. You can do a fuel pressure test, you know, up here on the fuel rail. But to get a noid light or something on the injector plug is tough. Uh, just difficult access. So going down the line, you see we've got the drive shaft tunnel, we've got the transmission back here. This is an automatic transmission. You see the torque converter, you see all the different clutch baskets. Cool thing is, is you've got all these different clutch baskets like you've got on a motorcycle. It's a wet clutch system. And then you've got your planetaries inside of here that enables you to have reverse. Come back to here, you've got a limited slip differential, so you've got another basket of clutches just like you have in the transmission or like you have in the motorcycle. And then the CV axle to the final drive. And look at the meat on these things. Look how wide these tires are. This model is freaking awesome. See what I was saying about the fuel injection? You don't have any access to it. It's totally closed in on this side. They even cut open the alternator to expose the field windings. So stinking cool. Cut it away so you can see where the thermostat is. The frame. Freaking awesome. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. <laughs> We've got some mail. Got a package to my P.O. box, number 282 of Cedar Valley, Utah, 84013. Let's see what's in. This is from Ben, from Rushville, Indiana. <laughs> I got some plates. I always love getting some plates. I do appreciate you sending me a tag. Look how slick and smooth that is. This was on my 93 Honda Accord, just happened to end in NGK. Oh, because the NGK spark plugs and stuff in an import. The knife sharpener is for you with no expectations if you feature it in any vid. So this is a Steamboat Super Sharpener. I feel like they're ceramic, maybe embedded with something. 
100% made in the USA. There's a lot of good manufacturing going on in and around Indiana. So you've got these, they kind of make a little cross like that. And these do the same thing. What paper do I have? The envelope would work, would it not? So this is where my knife's at right now. This pretty much blunt instrument. What you do is you take this and you just go straight down like that. Where people will draw them like that. It's actually a pretty handy little device. I think this might be for coarse and this might be for fine, but I just opened this. I didn't really see the difference just that quick. See so yeah. <laughs> these these are effective. I've used these before. I know they're good. But anyway, I'm not staging nothing. I'm not claiming nothing. But you just saw that work. We'll just throw that up there. I'm shamelessly promoting things that come in my mail. <laughs> just because it's fun to get mail. Thanks, Ben. Sure appreciate that.